3.98, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, so something I noticed, every time I get gas, my car is currently tuned for an E30 blend, uh, and all the gas stations around my area that sell E85 are a chain style convenience store. So they're not like Shell or any like top tier brand, you know, selling E85. So it's questionable whether it's good E85. And I notice a lot of times, certain times I'll get gas and there would definitely be a difference in power and in uh, the tuner here, if you look, you got OAR, which for some that don't know, stands for um, octane adjust ratio. And that basically, that number wants to be as close to one as possible. Um, and really it, it doesn't even get that high. It, it stops in the mid nines or the mid point nineties, right? So that's really low. In fact, last tank I was point eight, Eight, I think, or eight three is the highest I've seen it, and that was with actually an overblend of uh, it was more like an E thirty six blend. So that just goes and tells you that the ethanol uh, content in the last batches of fuel at the station I'm getting to have been crap. So it hasn't been actual full E eighty five. It's been much less. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go to Advance Auto Parts. I'm going to pick up a can of the octanium fuel octane increaser additive from VP Racing Fuels and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in with just 93. That's gonna give me way higher octane than the car's tuned for with ethanol. Um, so, I, you know, I don't think since I've gotten this tuned, cause I got the tune in the winter and that gas is even worse. And I don't think I've actually gotten my OAR high enough to really see the full potential of this tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump a can of uh, the Octanium in the tank with either Sunoco or Shell uh, 93. I'm gonna fill it up and let it learn, um, try to get that OER up as high as possible. And then I'm gonna do back-to-back -back runs. I'm gonna do a zero to 60 run the way the car is now. And then I'm gonna do another run when the OER is up. And I'm gonna see what the difference is between having the extra octane and the auto octane um, kind of learning ratios on these cars. And then of course, between the difference between the lower and higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna find a place to do a run and then we'll go ahead and grab the additive and throw it in drive it around and see what's up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and order this VP Racing Fuels Octanium. I'm gonna order it from Advanced Auto Parts and kind of just a cool trick or tip if you're unaware if you order uh, something online uh, from Advanced Auto Parts, a lot of times they even like right on the right on the front page, they give you a promo code. You can save 20%, sometimes 25 or whatever. You don't really have to sign up for their speed perks, but then that gives you extra discounts if available. So you can see here, if I just go online, see it has a promo code right there, and I can go ahead and save myself 20% off this order um, just by ordering online and then picking up in store. So it's a pretty cool little tip there if you just want to save a little extra money. All right, so I'm um, just on a stretch of road here. I'm gonna go ahead and do my best. I'm gonna give it a little boost launch, probably bring it up to about 2,000, 2,500 RPM. And I'm just gonna let it rip and see what happens. And I'm gonna see what kind of time I can get. I'm only doing one run, so um, I'm not doing like a best of. So this isn't super scientific, but there should be a difference. It should be a pretty, you know, a few tenths, it should be definitely a difference between the two. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, flip the camera around, and we're gonna do this run. Oh. Yeah, I goofed. I, uh, okay. Started moving, and then the, uh, timer started going of course all right and now i have traffic because i am that kind of guy i'm gonna do my best to record this as well this is not the easiest all right all right 60. now let's see what we 
got on the timer here. And I do have a passenger with uh, some groceries in the back, so, you know, it's a little extra weight. Um, and the car is kind of heat soaked, so I've been doing some runs today. But as you can see, five seconds. This car is definitely capable of going faster than five seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go put some gas in it um, with the uh, additive, and I'm gonna do that run again and see what, uh, see what happens. Red light challenge, Evo. I guess it's an Evo. Yeah, it's an Evo. So let, let's see if let's see if my land yacht's got the balls. Oh, he didn't even try. Damn. Well, gee, I thought he was gonna go. Oh well, all right, pulling up to the to the Sunoco. All right, my pumps aren't working. Sweet. All right. Hard to do this. With one hand, trying to hold the camera, watch me make a big mess. Yep, right on my hand. That's where I didn't want it. All right, here it goes. Now, as the bottle says, whole can. This does have a kind of yellowy tint to it. Whole can, 10 gallons. Oh yeah. Go up to the last drop. That's what she said. All right. Dispose of that. Hell of a mess by pulling this out, getting it all over my hands. Hey, doesn't give it cancer anymore. Clean that off. I clean my spout. Remember proper hygiene. Oh god. And then the gas. some important instructions. Okay, we're all good. And of course, 93. And let's see the process. So we are looking for 10 gallons. Do some driving around, let it all mix in, and see what the OAR goes up to, and then we'll redo that run. 
All right, so I went ahead and, uh, as you saw, I put the octanium in the gas, 10 gallons of 93 Sunoco gas, and the OAR did not go up. Uh, it's probably gonna take a few drive cycles for it to go, but I do feel um, that it's adding timing rather than taking it away. Um, and I do feel a little bit more boost because uh, that's all it goes and it factors in off the OAR. Uh, the lower the number, it lowers the, you know, the boost and uh, you know, it won't add the timing as aggressively. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and make my run and see if it makes any difference the way it is with uh, just the octanium in the tank. It should be somewhere north of 100 oct or south of 100 octane so somewhere around there somewhere around 100 octane so let's uh let's see what happens all right i can't hear lots of wind lots of wind too much wind okay that made absolutely no difference we are at five seconds so what I think I have to do is I think well we also have a lot of weight more weight in the car because of the three quarter tanks of fuel three quarter tank of fuel rather than a quarter tank so that's also a possible scenario in uh, the equation there but uh, yeah no difference so I guess the OER has to go up a lot more before I can notice any big difference and then uh, yeah that's gonna take some time all right I'm gonna go ahead and try this again it's a little later in the day I got my IATs down a little bit more the OAR also hasn't moved um, I'm not sure if that's just because the uh, difference in the different fuels you know the um, air fuel ratio might be different so it might be factoring that in I don't know I didn't think it did, but maybe it is. So maybe that's why that hasn't changed yet. Um, so I get ethanol back in the tank. Uh, but everything's good, so it's making, seems like better power. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. I'm gonna give it a pretty hefty amount of boost on the launch and see if I can get a better time. I know this car is done quicker than five seconds. So uh, let's, uh, let's try it out. I gotta wait for traffic though come and go all right what's the magic number what's the magic 3.98 hell yeah oh yeah I knew it I knew it full interior passenger Half a tank of gas, spare tire, and some octane additive. Zero to 60, under four seconds, gearhead tune. That's awesome. I knew it, I knew it had it in it. Oh man, I, all right. Well, my experiment worked, so you can see the benefits of something like that, especially when the fuel isn't that great and the octane's not that great. So that was awesome. That is cool. Signing off.